five o'clock in the morning, are you ready for hunting, I'm assuming? Nice. Nice. We have just made it into the hut. It's uh, me, my brother, my dad, and I. And uh, yeah, it's about 35 yards to the water, so it's a bit far. But uh, we'll see how we get on. Um, it's a clear shooting hole. It's very hot today. I'm sweating profusely. And uh, uh, I'm on the shooting sticks today because my dad doesn't, can't shoot this far yet. He doesn't have a pin for it. And uh, yeah, we'll see how we get on. A pick, it might be a bit tough. An impala as well, but we'll see how we get on. It's worth a shot, who knows. Maybe I get one, maybe we don't. It's very hot, so I'm hoping they come in for the water. The wind is fine. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. Hopefully we get a pick. <laughs> Right in golden hour brought some luck with Impala coming in rather fast and furious after having a nice afternoon seeing a lot of uh, sables we got a young bachelor herd of Impala that come in and I, I was getting ready for a shot but this first group of three that came in as you guys can see were drinking quartering towards and I wasn't planning on taking one of the smaller rams and so they never actually presented me with a shot and before I could do anything get a proper shot and 30 yards they were out and away uh, with one young ram sticking around for a bit before leaving as well it was not over as some even better rams came in not long afterwards and uh, these two nice rams were here and I was hoping to specifically get a shot on the one standing in the shade but both of them ended up drinking quartering towards and even though it's standing there in the shade giving me a shot it was standing at roughly 40 yards which was a bit too far it finally did get chased to a place where i could have had a quick shot now but uh, it didn't stop for quite long enough to draw back and proper aim on 30 i think this was 34 yards uh, before walking away and never stopping which was quite a quite a sad one as this prompted the rest of the herd to also Get a move on and uh, and finish up with their drink. After the Impala went out, a small warthog quickly came for a drink. And since this was the first afternoon, I decided to pass him up as it was not a proper, proper dead on side on shot it was more slightly quartering towards and um yeah that was the first day so i left him be he ate a bit before leaving as well as the water boogied out three of those young impala rams in turn returned one with a very crooked horn that we think got broken in a fight somewhere and i was wanting to take him out and then I got very unlucky as a shot somewhere else was fired and as you can see the Impala immediately react to this and decide to boogie out of the water and uh, rather not drink play it safe rather safe than sorry and uh, I was left looking at the three McDonald's signs on the way out and uh, eventful hour and a half to end the first day of hunting off in the hide um, unfortunately not harvesting anything but um, Philip did get lucky harvesting an impala you and a warthog and a um, Piet harvesting two uh, warthog as well um, to end of the day one with four animals 
in the salt. Insert photos here. Day two started with a change up in plans with Eddie and I going into the bush with our rifles in the morning. I clocked in around 15 kilometers. I got a few opportunities but never managed to get a chance at a shot. My bad dad and brother went uh, into the hide with the crossbow, saw some young pigs but also didn't fire off a shot. And around 12 o'clock Martin and them came with the bucket and picked us all up having a morning session done with a lot of walking but unfortunately no animals down. With the afternoon rolling by, my brother and my dad decided to get into this hide with the crossbow. Here you can see my, my brother seeing some piggies. He didn't take the shot and uh, the guide and I decided we'll go sit in that pop-up hide where my brother and my dad sat in the morning. We went and sat with my 300 to just see if something maybe doesn't come in for the water before we go on the afternoon walk. Just shot with the 300 wind mag, shaking like a leaf. There's lung blood, and uh, I shot with the 300, and here's a piece of lung here. I shot right on the shoulder. She went in here. Oh, this is a rush. Okay, Pietras is the tracker, and he's gonna quickly get us to a pig. Got her hard in the shoulder. There was a piece of lung right there. He's on the blood trail. That's Pluto. I shot her right on the shoulder, which is probably not the uh, stone dead kind of shot I wanted, but yeah, he opi blar is not blue. The leaf, there's blood. He has a lot of, oh, I don't know what, any but I see my this. So it definitely is longer. Yeah, he's so, so Petrus is saying because they can see the blood bunching up, she's going slower, she's ready to fall. Just going on a proper, proper death run. She fell against the, uh, so it, uh, she fell against the wood right there. You can see the blood on the tree. There she fell against it. And there was no blood on the blood. Right there. The leaf. Hey. <laughs> Here, say. We have her. <laughs> My uh, warthog. Yeah. Thank you, Petrus. Thank you, Petrus. Thank you, Petrus. Okay, guys. I'm hot. We just pulled the water back from where we found it. It's like 32 degrees. It's the warmest April we've had in years. And uh, yeah, I just shot a pig. First one for the trip with my wind mag. We gave up a bit on the, uh, the bow setup for now because it's far away. So I'm trying with the wind mag and we're walking the whole morning to no avail. 
we decided for the afternoon for the peak heat just come sit here and uh, yeah we got lucky so uh, we're gonna get back in now tired as heck just want to clean my hands and then hopefully get another one maybe an impala we had four five animals for the trip four warthog one impala so doing good stay tuned i hope you guys are enjoying so far Hey guys, what is up? It is I. I is tired. But we just finished walking. We're back. It is now six o'clock and I am on 20,000 steps now. I've been walking a lot. 20,000 steps is around what? 18 kilometers for me. So it's been a rough day in terms of walking. Um, we got the pig, which was great when we actually didn't walk we were walking the whole morning then we took a bit of a break and then uh, uh we quickly went and sat under a tree in the heat of the day because we weren't in the mood for walking when it's about 32 degrees outside that like i said earlier and uh got the pig almost got another one almost got a kudu cow which would have been great but the wind kind of dogged us um she was standing uh, straight on towards me so i could have shot her frontal but there were a few twigs in front and because I'm shooting light 160, 165 gram bullets out of the 300 I didn't want to take the chance um, of a deflection or anything so uh, she ended up winding us uh, as we were waiting for her to turn which sucked but yeah I don't know what the rest got they all still out hunting my dad and I here's my dad we just came home having a cold one because uh, we deserve it and uh, yeah, stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoyed the second day. I don't know how much of it I filmed. I try to film as much as possible. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed tomorrow's day three, last full day of hunting, and then we go back home. Uh, my dad still needs to get something. My brother still needs to get something. I think Eddie still needs to get something. The uh, kudus, uh, the zombie impala hunter himself. And uh, yeah, but stay tuned. Let's see how we get on. And uh, thanks for watching so far. See you guys tomorrow.